welcome to our series of famous halls in the Peak District and Derbyshire. Today we are at an amazing Chatsworth House. Oh, thou simple souls who wander far and wide, with your humble homes and your meagre pride, know that you shall never match the grandeur and grace of the mighty Chesworth House, our regal palace and place. With its towers tall and its walls so strong, our home is where the elite belong. Its halls and chambers oh so grand are a sight to behold, an experience so grand. We revel in the luxury of our noble abode, where no expense is spared, no detail left untold. Our gardens are a work of art, a wonder to behold, a true testament to the wealth and status that we hold. The art and decor so refined and exquisite are far beyond the reach of the common or the mediocre, for we are the aristocracy, the elite of the land. And our home is the pinnacle of luxury, the envy of man. So bow down to the glory of Chatsworth House and recognise the truth that we shall always espouse. For we are the chosen few, the privileged and the blessed. And we shall forever reign supreme above all the rest. This is the impressive Chatsworth Aqueduct. It takes water from high up on the moors and feeds Chatsworth House way down there. Oh, fancy folks with your grand estates and painting statues and fancy gates. You think you're so grand with your titles and wealth, but us working class folks, you're just full of yourself. Take Chatsworth House, for instance, the Duke's grand abode. It's a sight to behold, but it's not the yellow brick road. We don't have time for fancy gardens or ornate halls. We're too busy working. Paying our bills, that's all. But hey, we're not bitter. We'll still come and see all the beauty and history that's in Chatsworth glory. We'll admire your fancy artwork and antique decor. Even though we can't afford it, we'll still appreciate it more. You see, we're used to simpler things like a pint of ale and a good tune to sing. We don't need fancy food or silverware. Give us a pork pie and a pint, and we'll be there. Your gardens may be grand, with green lawns so well tended, but we prefer the local park, where our good times never ended. We don't need ornate designs or majestic waterfalls. Just give us some greenery and a football. And as for your artwork, it's nice to see, but we prefer our own portraits of you and me. 
We don't need expensive foils or rare antique. We just draw what we know and what we like, so to speak. But all that said, we'll admire your fancy hallways with ornate ceilings and grand stairways. We'll take it all in and appreciate what we see. Even if it's not for us, it's still history. So Duke of Devonshire and your fancy kin, enjoy your chats with house and all that lies within. But don't forget us working class folks will always be here, keeping the world turning with blood, sweat and beer. We'll come and visit from time to time and have a laugh at your fancy wine. We'll take some photos to show our mates and say we've been to the Duke's estate. But deep down inside will be the same hard-working people with simple aims so keep your fancy world with his pomp and show we'll stick to our roots and let the good times flow <laughs>